Alright, I have made it back into Paris, the Gare du Nord station currently with a lot of construction so it's a little bit noisy and I have one mission to complete tonight which is my last round of the France Off Challenge with Sam Thorpe. Now it's 10.20 p.m. at the moment and the last train to get to my hotel leaves at about half past midnight so I literally have only these two hours to complete it. He left me a clue and that clue says living to the right of me, dead to the left. My guess is he's at the cemetery. And I'm gonna try and find a statue of a famous French naturalist at Paris's big cemetery in the east of the city. As it turns out, I kinda of need to go that way to get my train out to my hotel for Disneyland, where I'm at tomorrow, because the RER network is down. So I've gotta take the metro, and one of the metro lines goes past the cemetery. Alright, we've had snafu number one. It turns out line two kind of goes from Gare du Nord, but really it's La Chapelle, which is a station connected to Gare du Nord, which as it were, it's on the other end of Gare du Nord. So I've had to walk through the station. Uh, I'm now looking up at the signs, which do say line two is straight ahead. So while I'm here, I might as well explain why I am in such a rush to get this done tonight. See, I'm actually not in central Paris again. After these two hours, I head over to Disneyland. I stay in a hotel a few stations away, which is about an hour east of central Paris. Tuesday, I'm at Disneyland all day. Wednesday morning, I leave straight from my hotel to the airport, but I do not go past central Paris at all. So if I'm gonna complete the France Off Challenge, it's got to be tonight. That also means I'm probably not gonna have enough time for a bonus France off that Sam left uh, in a hidden clue somewhere near, just south of Notre Dame, I believe. I have made it to the platform at La Chapelle and I'm a little bit sweaty because as you can see, I do have quite a few pieces of, of luggage and bags that I've been carrying with me. So getting a little bit stuffy and hot. Uh, and I'm gonna have to be in a bit of a rush, waiting about three more minutes for the next train to arrive. I need to take that a few minutes to the cemetery, look around quickly in the cemetery, hopefully very quickly, because it's, it's dark and I don't know the area very well. I then hop back on a train so I can get to Nacion and get on an RER train to get to the hotel. All right, it's about 35 minutes since I arrived in Paris. I'm at the metro station outside the cemetery and this is the moment of truth. I need to find uh, if I can get my bag up this hill. I need to find the statue of a French naturalist on the border of the cemetery. Somewhere. Oh. And I really have Mm, 30 maximum 45 minutes to be safe before I have to be back on the train line in the metro to get my connecting train out to the hotel and as you can probably tell it is quite dark at the moment so this is gonna be a little tricky well right here these are the gates into Père Lachaise the cemetery on the eastern end of Paris as you can probably see the gates are closed, so I'm not going to be able to get in that way. However, I do recall seeing that Sam was in a photo that looked like it was on a boulevard, much like this one. I've walked down to the end, but I haven't been able to find any statues along it, so I'm going to try and backtrack a little bit and see if the other boulevard on the other side of the cemetery has a statue or not. And that's probably going to be my best bet because I cannot get into the cemetery itself on account of it being closed. Not that I'd want to go in, not at this hour. I mean, it's probably full of zombies and Michael Jackson dancing, right? So I'm now walking up the other side of the cemetery and up really is the key word. So I'm going up the hill and it is 12 past 11. Like I said, the last train is about 12.30 and I still need to get to the station. So I'm giving this another 10, maybe 15 maximum, 20 minutes before I find something, but well, that's the cemetery. It's it's basically a fence the whole way. Any gates are closed. So unless this is right on the edge of the cemetery, somewhere visible, 
I don't think I'm gonna find it. My only hope is that at the top of this hill there's a, a metro station which can get me down to the other station quickly so I can get to my train. But at this point I don't like my odds. Sam Thorpe, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> I think you may have defeated me in this France off. We will see. We, we will see. My body is starting to give me a few hints that maybe I should give up. I am sweating pretty badly. It's, it's warmish and stuffy here and I'm, I'm dressed for cold weather, which it certainly ain't down here in Old Paris. But I've gone around probably half the cemetery around the outside. There seems to be no way in. I don't see any statues or nice boulevards around the edge of it. And so I think, I think, <laughs> I think I've just been uh, photobombed uh, by someone who clearly wants to take even more of my glory because I have been defeated and I'm gonna get into this metro station, get two metro trains and then a third RER train out east just west of Disneyland Paris where I will have to admit defeat to Sam Thorpe. Well done, congratulations. It's now the next day and I'm in my hotel room about to head off to Disneyland. Because I wasn't able to complete my France off challenge, there is a consequence for me and that is I have to take a photo of myself looking upset holding a French pastry. And so in order to uh, concede defeat to Sam, here is uh, myself at Disneyland, the happiest place on earth, looking really upset. Congratulations, Sam. You win. <laughs>